Well, as you well know, we've begun the holiest week of the church year. And from today through Easter Sunday, we follow Christ in his suffering, his passion, his death, celebration of his Passover with his disciples, the betrayal of Jesus, the embrace of the cross, and his being laid to rest in the tomb. And today we heard the first of two accounts of the Passion which we hear during this week. The second, the Passion according to John, which we prayerfully listen to on Good Friday. The beginning of the liturgy calls, recalls Christ's triumphal entry into Jerusalem and the joyful chant of the crowds. Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. St. Luke's account of the Passion, however, leaves no doubt that Jesus' kingship is far different from what many of the Jewish people were expecting. We all know the story of Jesus' Passion. We've heard it many times, and the familiarity of it may be an obstacle to our attentive listening. One of the ways of listening to the Passion and reading it during the week is to put ourselves in Jesus' shoes. A recent reflection on the Passion brought this home to me. Have you ever had someone smile at you on the surface and then do something to intentionally hurt you? Have you ever had your best friends abandon you in a dark time? Have you ever been the brunt of terrible jokes and pranks that hurt you? If you answered yes to any of these questions, you have had a taste of the passion. If we put ourselves in Jesus' place as he endures the passion, we cannot miss his response to the rebukes, the false accusations, the jeers of the crowd, and the people he meets along the way. Listen attentively. Pay attention to Jesus and how he encounters his accusers, how he responds to Peter, his words to the mourning women who followed him, and the two men who hung between him on the cross. We hear no anger, no resentment, no attempt to justify himself. Most important, we hear words that were addressed to those crucified with him and to those who crucified him. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. We all need to hear those words, for we know that our sins the sins of fallen humanity were the cause of his death. Today and during this week, meditate on the passion of Jesus and let it become a source of healing for you. Do not waste the week. Spend the week at the foot of the cross, gazing silently on the one who gave his life for you. No one has greater love than this, than to lay down one's life for one's friends.